Ernie Parsons, having been found guilty by a jury of your peers. I didn't see any jury. Well, they was around. Anyway, what difference does it make? You gunned down Wendy Jones, and he was one of our most beloved and respected citizens. I heard he was the town drunk. Well, now that he's dead, he's one of our most beloved and respected citizens. I don't care who he was, I didn't kill him. You've got the right to hear a few words from a preacher. Unfortunately, our preacher's out of town, but luckily, we got Farley Millard here, and he's a feed and grain salesman, and he owns a Bible. No, thanks. Now, what does that mean? I don't want any feed and grain salesman praying over me. I don't want anyone praying over me. I don't believe in that stuff. You ready, Max? Oh. You got one more inalienable right to speak a few last words, and I mean a few. <laughs> We don't want one of them things where the chem takes off with a declaration of independence. <laughs> well, go on. Well, I'd just like to say that this is the lousiest town that I've ever been in. Well, I've met a better class folk in a San Francisco opium parlor. A drunken pool hall bum would be considered too high tone for these parts. And as for your system of justice, well... Now that's enough! You see what I mean? He was just one breath away from the declaration. All right, Max. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Ed Loose just confessed. He killed Wendy in a drunken barroom brawl about a pregnant Indian squaw. Ed claims Wendy was the father and that he was acting as the avenging angel. Wendy was going to be the father or something? That's what Ed says. All right. On time. Given his gun. Now, that's the way out of town, son. Take it, keep on going, and don't you never come back. You heard her, I'm not guilty. Even so, we don't want no fast guns in this town. Fast guns right alongside with lepers in this law-abiding community. Can I ride back to town long enough to get some food? That's the way out, son. Don't press your luck. Thanks. Bye. I'm going with you. You don't have to. I'll be back. When? Whatever you do, don't leave town. Wait. Never give up hope. See ya. If I'd have known he was going to act like that, I never would have lied for him. Lied? What? You would have never what? I don't care. I thought he was cute. There ain't a man around here I'd have as a gift. And he took a bath every so often besides.